Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today, we are at the back of the truck again because I have a new model of lawnmower I actually wanted to share with you. And what this is, the Cobalt 40 Volt Max brushless, self-propelled 20 inch lawnmower. And the reason I ended up getting this one is because a little while back I actually got an Echo 21 inch self-propelled, but it was in their new E-Force line of battery powered equipment and it was their 56 volt mower. And I kind of want to do a comparison because that mower is about $500. This mower right now is on sale for $349. And right now it is April of 2022. So I don't know how long these sales are going to last. But, you know, as of right now, this one is actually about $150 cheaper than what the Echo is. So I wanted to get this mower and kind of see if there was that much of a difference in the price versus quality. And, you know, see if you can get just as good of a cut out of a machine that is $150 less. Let's jump in here, get this thing opened up, take a look at it. So this mower does come with a six amp hour battery and it does come with the charger. I actually already pulled those out and put them on charge uh, to try to get them charged up in order to test this thing out. It does come with the bagger because you, you do have a mulching function uh, bagger or side discharge with this mower. This is the frame for the bag. Got our manual in here. Got our side discharge chute. So there it is in all its blue glory. Uh, I gotta say, I really like the blue cobalt collars, but it pretty much comes assembled and all we've got to do looks like is just pretty much unfold the handle. So let's go ahead and do that. So a few things that I really like about this mower straight out of the gate is the fact that it does have the one handle height adjustment and it's super easy to use in the battery compartment it does have an extra place to store an extra battery in it they are not connected so whenever one battery goes dead you would have to pull out the dead one and then uh, just tra trade places with it and put the one that still is charged into the power socket itself this mower also will fold up pretty compact it's got two little tabs right here on the handle you can just take them loose this will actually slide down and then it's got two tabs up here on the lower part of the handle that you can either adjust the height of your, your handle itself or you can fold it up for storage. And when you get these handles locked in place, then you can just raise the whole mower up and set it back and store it in an upright position against a wall or somewhere. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and look underneath it pretty typical looking under here it has a pretty thin lightweight blade on it so it does have a steel deck on it which i kind of like that i guess it's kind of up to the individual uh, a few of them actually do a composite deck i'm not sure how that lasts in comparison to the steel but i know you know on on conventional push mowers those steel decks eventually they do tend to rust and you know they'll they'll end up cracking and breaking and all that kind of stuff especially on some of the older ones where the pull start was actually on the side of the motor and a lot of people would set their foot on the deck you know and trying to pull that rope and then as that deck would rust then they'd put weight on it and then it'd end up cracking and breaking the deck i've got a push mower that i've had 15 years and the deck is just now really kind of starting to rust a little bit so you know that kind of stuff really doesn't bother me because the deck will probably outlast the motor and the batteries and all that kind of stuff and you'll probably end up having to replace the mower before the deck actually fails everybody probably has their own opinion on it whether composite or steel is better but that's just my personal opinion on it so one thing i noticed right off is that this thing actually has a handle right here on it and then a, a position where you can put your hand right here to grip it that gives you a nice good hand holds for whenever you need to lift it up and put it in a vehicle and so when you lift it to put it in your say your truck You've got good sturdy handholds for it. So when you want to unfold this thing, you just pull this tab. You can turn it sideways to lock the pin out. Same way over here. That way your pin's not trying to go back into the holes again. And you can just raise the handle right up. So when you get it back into position, then you can just turn your knobs, let them lock into place. And they pop right in and again here on the handle you're going to pull these open and then slide the handle out and then those will lock right back into place 
So I'm gonna go ahead and try this thing out a little bit. And I'm going to run the deck. This is notch four. So the grass is a little bit wet today. It actually rained this morning and it hasn't dried all the way out. But we're gonna go ahead and try this anyways. But the starting procedure on this is you've got to push and hold the start button and then pull the handle and that will start the blades. And then to engage the self-propelled, you squeeze the rear handle and that makes the wheels turn. So I'm running the self-propelled about half speed right there. Actually, not quite. There, now we're at half speed. We'll go ahead and drop the deck down another notch. I say first impressions i'm actually quite surprised at how well this thing cuts the grass here is actually fairly high and i'm not even using the correct battery i'm actually using a 2.5 amp hour battery in it that was from some of my other cobalt equipment but i'm actually really impressed with how well this thing's working in this tall grass and it's wet grass too and it's not clogging up or anything and it's i was moving actually about half speed of the self-propelled and it was pushing right on through that and I could hear the, the speed of the blade slow down a little bit. And I thought, oh man, this thing's gonna bog down and, and kind of quit on me, you know, it's gonna, it's just not gonna have enough power. But then I guess the, the way that the electronics work, it seems like that it just kind of kicked in and started pulling more power and it sped right back up and it just cut right through this stuff. I was very impressed with the way it's running. So I'm gonna push it across through here by hand without using the self-propelled and just see if it feels like it has any more power on the blades by doing this. So what happens when you hit a big stick with it? Let's find out. It's 
Starts back up. Seems to be running as smooth as it ever was. So this is our stick that we hit. And it, it started right back up and seems to be running just as smooth as it ever did. So another thing I wanted to point out that I'm on a slope right here and it's sloping uphill towards the house the whole way. This is actually, I wouldn't call it steep, but it's probably about a 10 or 15 degree slope. This mower has no trouble pulling this slope. In fact, you know, I'm really, I'm really liking this. So I got hung up on a root right there. That was actually at the slowest setting right there that the mower will go. And you can see how much the ground is sloping by just a couple steps. That mower is up to head height. So, I mean, it's a pretty good slope right here that we're working on. I know a lot of times it's hard to be able to tell this kind of stuff on camera. But if we turn our speed up on our self-propelled a little bit. I'm not pushing anything. I'm just pulling the handle. As you can see, I'm kind of, I get hung up right there in that spot, it actually just loses traction. It's not even a matter of whether it has enough power to do it, it loses traction right there. And in order to overcome that, I actually just pulled down on the handle a little bit and put a little more weight on the back wheels and it just dug in and took off. But again, I'll demonstrate that again. I'm just gonna squeeze the handle. And it just goes. This thing's, this little mower's awesome. So there we have it, our first look and our test on our Cobalt 40 volt self-propelled battery lawnmower. My first impressions on this is actually, I'm really surprised. And I really was thinking that the 40 volt might not be enough, but I'm very surprised at how much ground, or how much grass and how easily it cuts the grass and then spits it out and doesn't clog up. Now, I'm not saying that it would never clog up, but it definitely does a good job of putting the grass out. And this stuff here is actually was really tall and it's wet. It just rained this morning. And so the grass is not dried out. And uh, you know, like I say, I am, I am quite impressed with it. So the true tests are gonna be run times and all that. They claim 45 minutes or up to 45 minutes. I know the non-self propelled version says that it has a run time of up to 60 minutes with the same battery. So I'm assuming that the downtime uh, from 60 minutes down to 45 is actually the difference of being self-propelled and not self-propelled. So if extra runtime is something that you think you might need, then maybe the non-self-propelled may be the way to go. But also these are claims of up to certain times. And I know a lot of manufacturers tend to claim things and they don't really hold up to that. So that's one thing we're gonna test out in future videos, see if this thing will hold up to the claim of 45 minute runtime and see whether that makes a difference of whether you're using the self-propelled or not. I appreciate you following along with us today. I am super excited for some of the things coming up, future videos on the channel, future products we're gonna have, new innovations with battery powered equipment. Those are gonna be coming up throughout the spring and summer. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get notifications whenever I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.